Hey everybody, I'm going to do a harmonic dictation for you today and uh, I'm going to go to the piano and play it and then we're going to write it on this blank board. We're just going to use solfege and numbers, okay? Alright, so here is the harmonic progression. If you're not wearing headphones, you might want to wear headphones just so that you hear the bass well. Um, and here is the progression. You can go back and listen to that as many times as you like. But you should try and get this in maybe four hearings. The thing is that there's a lot of things that you can tell. I'm going to try and play it once again with doubled bass and see if I can do it. Um, and just so you can hear the bass line better because we're going to base almost everything off of that bass line. Get the bass and the soprano though. Here's the pro pro progression again. And you can listen to that as many times as you like. Okay, I want you to try and get it on your own. Get the bass and the soprano, and then we'll get the harmonic analysis. Okay, so here we go. So we're going to do an analysis of that. We had do, mi, fa, fi. That's going to be important. So, si. That's also going to be important. La, so, a lot of vowel just so we know that it was going back down to so. Fa, re, so, so, do. Now without writing the soprano, there's a whole bunch of things that we can know. We probably started with one. We probably ended with one. And in fact, this SSD so, so, do usually comes in two flavors. It's either, uh, it's usually either a five, often progressing to a five, seven, and then cadencing to one, or sometimes it's a cadential formula of, of a cadential six, four, followed by a five chord, maybe with a seven and a one. So there are, if we listen to other voices, that will also tell us what happened. Um, the other thing that we can know is right here with this phi, we know that that's going to be an of five right now. I mean, it could be other things, but we can pretty much guarantee that that's going to be an of five. And also, this is going to be an of six, something of six. And those are very likely to be followed by five and six, especially given that the notes following them are the notes that phi and C tonicize. Phi tonicizes, acts as a leading tone to so, and C acts as a leading tone to la, um, which gives us our tonicization. So we've already filled in some things. If we write in the soprano, it's going to help us guess even more stuff. But we can definitely put a five there. Okay, so let's look at the soprano line. Did you get the soprano line? We had mi, do, la, do, ti, re, do, di. Oh my gosh, that's going to be something important. Re, fa, <gasps> that told us something. Mi, re, do, and that told us something too. In fact, we said this was going to be some kind of cadential formula. If you have mi, re, do, what's that going to be? A cadential 6-4, yeah, that's going to be a 5-6-4 going to 5-3. And then, that's as much as we can guess just knowing that, but did you happen to hear 
the quality of of that last of that penultimate chord the five chord it did in fact have a seven so we can write eight to seven as well cool in my class i'm also okay if you write one six four five seven one but not everyone will be okay with that so you need to uh just know your audience Know your audience when you use these things. All right, so we have one. Look at the next thing. We have me, do, and do, me. Hmm. What is that? That's a voice exchange. We're pretty much guaranteed that this is going to be a 1-6 chord. Isn't that awesome? Okay, then we have fa with a la. That could either be... The, here, here's where it's really useful to narrow down your options because that is either going to be a four chord or a two six chord. Maybe with a seventh, but you know, that's either going to be a four chord or a two six chord. Which do you think it's going to be? I'm going to guess four, but then I would probably listen. I might put a question mark and listen again and see if I heard a ray somewhere in that chord. Or I would listen to the quality of the chord and think, was it minor quality or major quality? Okay, so now we've got a lot of things. We have Fi and Do right there, which almost guarantees us that this is a five, six, five of five, followed by a five. And then following that same pattern, there's a ray there. That would be a seventh of a five of, uh, a five seven of six. So I'm pretty sure this was a five six five of six two. I apologize if that's hard to read. Uh, anyway, we had uh, so then we had our six chord. Then we went back to so and we have D up there. What does D suggest? D is acting as a leading tone to re. So I think I can write of two. And then. What kind of chord of two would it be? Well, what's the root of five, seven of two? La. So, so is a whole step below la. Oh, this is gonna be one of my favorite chords ever. It's a five, four, two of two. Five, four, two chords tend to resolve two first inversion chords. And look, you have a fa in the bass, which just happens to be the bass note of a first inversion two chord. So we can write in two six. And then, look at this. We have re going to fa and fa going to re. That looks like a voice exchange. I bet we could write two there. And look, with just a little bit of analysis, thinking, guesswork, looking at what things are likely to be, we've pretty much got the whole analysis. So get the bass line and the soprano, and that will tell you all kinds of wonderful things. Uh, you can go back and listen and see whether this was a four or a two, but I can tell you it was a four. <laughs> um, and that is the whole analysis. So I hope that was helpful. And... Uh, See you next time.